So today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I have gotten so many requests throughout the last few months to do a cut crease makeup tutorial, but every time I got requested to do that, I was like, oh, I don't know how to do that. And I always felt so bad not doing one. It was just one of those looks that seemed impossible to do for me. Like I've said in the past a hundred times, I'm not a makeup artist. I just love doing my own makeup and I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses and I gotta tell you, cut crease. Major weakness. So I just started doing my research and in my personal opinion, this is the easiest way to do a cut crease. I got up today and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna film a cut crease makeup tutorial and I'm gonna do it in a way where it's the easiest for my subscribers and I really feel like this is the easiest way. This isn't a new technique or anything. I've seen a hundred tutorials where people do their cut crease just like this, but then I've seen like a hundred other ones where it's just so complicated and so hard, at least for me. So I found that this was the easiest way that I could do one and it's trial and error. It's all about practice. Today was the first time I sat down and I tried to film one, so it's not the best. I mean, there are totally some crooked lines in there. It's not the most amazing cut crease on the internet, but it's a good place to start. I'm gonna practice more and hopefully I get better and I learn new techniques and hopefully this video helps you out If you are someone who can never do a cut crease like me, hopefully this tutorial will help you So yeah, I've also gotten a lot of requests to do another tutorial using my morphe palette I'm pretty sure you could still get your hands on it. So that is what's on my eyes today Just this palette and yeah, I'm not naked I'm just wearing a dress that I probably shouldn't have worn for this video because during the entire video I look naked but if I go like this I look stupid. So yes, I hope you like this look and if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I have already primed my lids and I'm just going to jump into the palette. The first shadow I'm going to take is this color right here and I'm going to start focusing this in my crease. Now, this tutorial is pretty much just two steps in the crease, but it's just a lot of blending back and forth. So I'm taking that shade and on a fluffy brush, I am just buffing this into my crease. I'm starting off slow and I'm just adding the color little by little. Then I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take this matte cream color and I'm going to use this to highlight underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to go back into that previous shade and continue on with the blending of the crease. Now I'm gonna go into this deeper red shade and I'm gonna take an even smaller crease brush and I'm really gonna focus this shade in the crease. The other shadow I kind of just put everywhere. This I'm really taking my time to be very precise and I'm only applying this right into my crease. And now I'm just going back and forth with those two eyeshadows and those two different brushes. And I'm just continuing to blend those two shadows together. And I'm kind of flicking the brush outward to give my eyes more of that cat shape. So yeah, just take your time with this step. It's the longest step, just going back and forth with those two eyeshadows, but you know, blending, blending, blending. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. You can use any concealer or even an eyeshadow base if you find that your concealer creases on your lid. But I'm just gonna carve out my eye with this concealer. And I'm not gonna pass the crease, but I'm gonna do like a perfect little egg. And that's gonna create the cut crease. It's gonna look like your crease is cut. And then I'm gonna swipe my brush across to kind of um, create that angle, that cat eye look. I mean, you see what I'm doing. I'm really like not explaining this well, but you see, I kind of um, dragged it up a little bit too high here, but I mean, it's okay. It was my first cut crease. I tried my best. So. I went back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm using this taupey shade and I'm gonna pack that on my entire lid right on top of the concealer I put down and then I'm gonna use that brush to kind of carve out the edges and make them a little straighter because they was looking a little crooked. And then I took that first shimmery shade on a fluffier brush and I'm just lightly dusting this on my eyelid because I wanted the eye to be a little bit more silver, not so much taupe, so I mixed those two eyeshadows together. And then I cleaned up the edges with a wipe and then I went in with an eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Trooper Liquid Liner. 
and I'm just creating a wing that's not too thin, but it's not too thick either. And yeah, now I'm gonna move on to my face makeup before I finish up the eyes. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. It's like their new purpley primer and I love it. It makes my skin very, very dewy. And then I went in with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I believe this is the shade 203. And I am buffing that in with this It Cosmetics brush. This is the Love Is For Real brush. I think it was limited edition, but I'm pretty sure you can still get it at Ulta. And now for concealer, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is a new shade, it's called Light Neutral. A little bit too yellowy for me. I'm still trying to find my perfect shade in this concealer, but I'm just buffing that in with a brush. And then I'm actually gonna take a newer concealer. This is the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer, and I'm in the shade Light. And I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyes, in between my eyebrows, on my nose, on my chin. And I'm gonna use this concealer to really brighten up the face, kind of like highlight the face. I love this concealer for brightening. It gives you a nice dewy or like satin finish to the skin. I don't know, I really like it on top of other concealers because it's not full coverage, so I don't love it on its own. And then to set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use my Cover FX Loose Translucent Powder. I'm actually not only setting my concealer, but I'm setting my entire face. <laughs> okay, so to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna take this Milani Coco Gel Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I don't know why I don't use it more often because it's so black and so creamy. So I'm tight lining with this and I'm also applying it to my waterline. And then I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna start to buff this on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take this charcoaly gray brown shade and I'm gonna focus this a little bit closer to my waterline, but still buffing it on my lower lash line just to give a little bit of depth. But then I thought it needed a little bit more smokiness, so I took the black and I applied this just on the outer corners, just to add a little bit of like a darkness in the outer corners and then I just took that shade and blended my lower lash line some more. To highlight my inner corners, I took this really pretty shimmery shade and just popped that on my inner corners and then I threw on some mascara. This is the Trish McAvoy mascara. And then I went in with some falsies. I'm using the Ardell 113 falsies. They're so pretty and like wispy on the outer corners. Really fun, I love them. So to finish up the face, I'm gonna take the Cover FX bronzer in the shade Suntan, and I'm gonna contour my face with this, but I'm also gonna bronze. So I don't know why I bounce when I contour, but I've noticed that, like I bounce in my chair. Anyway, so I'm just contouring my face. And then I switched to a different brush because I wanted something a little bit like flimsier and a little fluffier. And yeah, I'm just bronzing up the skin some more, pretty much applying this everywhere. For blush. I'm gonna take the H&M blush in the shade Cameo Pink. It's like a really pretty cool tone pink. I love this blush, pop that on my cheeks. And then to highlight my face, I'm gonna take this Milani Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder in the shade Afterglow. It is so pretty. It's like a pinky silver highlight, but when the light hits it, it is beautiful. I love it. So I'm just highlighting my cheeks, my nose. I know a lot of people don't love nose highlight, but I do. So I'm just highlighting my entire face. And then to finish off the look, I'm going in with my lips. And this is the new Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Back Talk. So I just applied that to my entire lips. But I wanted a glossy lip and I wanted something a little bit more nude. So I took the Flower Beauty Gloss in the shade Classic Nude. And I love this lip combo. And then to set everything down, I took my Milani Make It Last setting spray. I love this setting spray. But yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And I always felt... <coughs> I look like somebody from Titanic. Do I not? The kind of dress the lady behind you sitting at church is wearing, right? I don't know.